Hi, good evening, everyone. In the last lecture, beta, we had gone ahead and we had started with Serrano chapter number three. And we had talked about what is a food stamp program. We talked about the budget lines, the different kinds of budget lines in which we had gone ahead and we had tried to, sorry, in which we had gone ahead and we had tried to understand uh, what happens in two cases. First, when you have buy one, get one case, that's the first analysis we did. And the second analysis we did, that was around this beta, where you have a rationed budget ticket. Today, I want to go ahead and I want to continue. And the first thing I want to begin with today, please write down, that is going to be income and consumption over time actually speaking beta ye hum bahut bahut baad mein padhate the till the last semester it used to be some chapter 8 or 9 of varian in which we used to talk about intertemporal choice is saal kyunki book change hui hai this topic has been slightly introduced in chapter number 3 itself still we will go ahead and we will do this in much more detail later on, even in this book. But for now, we just want to do in bits and pieces. Ki hota kya hai? With time, how does change? Hota hai? Huh. So, what is, so, so I want to introduce a term and that term is known as inter-temporal budget constraint. So, try to understand. When I say intertemporal, inter means in between. Hai na? So inter means in between. Temporal means time periods. So intertemporal budget constraint is one where you are talking in between two time periods. Matlab, abhi tab jo hum budget likh rahe the, the budget I wrote in the last class, it was P1, X1 plus P2X2 is equal to income of the consumer. Ye likha tha. But now I want to go between two periods and I want to understand what is going to happen between the two periods. Before we do that, ek aur cheez pe hogi, and that is known as numerator price. See, whenever you have two goods, Kabhi kabhi ek good ke price ko hum one assume kar lete hai, right? So when you have two goods and you assume the price of one of the goods as one, just very simple, just say here. But if I say that my budget line is 4x1 plus 3x2 is equal to, koi income le lete hai, say my income level is 24. Ye meri budget line hoogi, just my price of good one ho gaya 4, Price of good 2 ho gaya 3. I am consuming x1 units of good 1, x2 units of good 2 and income ho 24. Can I go ahead and divide throughout by 4? Is se koi change to nahi aega? No ma'am. Kuch difference nahi I am just dividing throughout by 4. So but if I do this, I will get x1 plus 3 by 4 x2 is equal to 8. Eki to baat hai, it's the same thing. Now we see that the coefficient of x1 is 1, right? So in a way, now if we compare this and this, kya pata chalte? that price of good 1 is 1, price of good 2 is 3 by 4, and price of good 3 is 8. I mean the income is 8. So now when I went from this to this, I have done something which is known as normalization. Normalization. But normalize ka matlab hota hai. Ek good ke price ko one declare kar dena. When you de declare the price of one of the goods as one, that is called normalization. Or jis ko hum one banate hai, that one beta, us corresponding good ko, we call that as numerator good. What do we call? We call that as numerator good. 
सो नाउ ये एक चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है समझनी दैट वॉट इज अ न्यूमरियर गुड वॉट इज अ न्यूमरियर गुड द गुड हुज प्राइज इज नॉर्मलाइज एट वन इज कॉल्ड न्यूमरेयर गुड ओके बेटा दैट इज नोन एज न्यूमरेयर गुड अब इस चैप्टर में हम क्या करने लगे वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू गो हेड एंड डू इन दिस चैप्टर सो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू एज्यूम एन इंडिविजुअल this individual he is very cool he has income in two periods so he is earning income in period 1 also and income in period 2 also now assume ek sabse easy cheez kya ho sakti hai ye individual kya kar sakta hai ma'am very simple pehle period mein wo apni puri income ko consume kar le and second period mein bhi wo apni puri income ko consume kar le so the easiest thing that can happen is that this individual can go ahead and consume exactly his income in the two periods okay ye to sabse aasan hai but there are two more things that can happen case number 1 beta this individual he can also go ahead and he can be involved in borrowing and this individual he can go ahead and he can also be involved in lending lending matlab saving money so ek sabse easy tarika ye tha that the individual consumes exactly his income in the two periods but the other thing that this individual can do is that uski jo consumption hai na it can be less than his income which means he is saving money or his consumption can be more than his income which means he is borrowing money main apni income se zyada kaise consume kar sakti hu paisa udhar le ke by borrowing so this is exactly what we are doing there is one more thing that we are assuming here beta abhi hum setup bana rahe hain pura so the first setup that we did is we assumed that price in period 1 in period 1 we assumed that to be a numerator price two periods hain period 1 and period 2 period 1 mein hum assume kar rahe hain we are assuming that the price of the good in period 1 is 1 that's the first thing second thing that we are assuming beta that this individual is earning in both the periods dono periods mein he is earning income so he is earning m1 in period 1 and m2 in period 2 dono periods mein paisa kama raha hai ek mein m1 ek mein m2 beta number 3 assumption we are assuming that this is this scenario there is no price inflation ye sirf ek assumption hai means प्राइस बढ़ नहीं रहे हैं प्राइस आर कॉन्स्टेंट देर इज नो इन्फ्लेशन सो बेटा इफ देर इज नो इन्फ्लेशन एंड पीरियड वन में प्राइजेस वन थे तो पीरियड टू में भी प्राइजेस वन ही रहे होंगे हियर पी वन पी टू इज नॉट टू कमोडिटीज पी वन पी टू इज द पीरियड सो दिस इज द प्राइज इन पीरियड वन एंड दिस इज द प्राइज इन पीरियड टू ओके okay. ऊपर देखो एक बारी व्हाट वी डिड इन द लास्ट क्लास यहां पे बेटा पी वन एंड पी टू दीज वर द प्राइजेस ऑफ गुड वन एंड गुड टू ये नहीं है यहाँ पे ये गुड वन गुड टू नहीं है ये है प्राइजेस इन पीरियड वन एंड पीरियड टू सो थिंग्स हैव चेंज ये इंटर टेम्पो 